Hey guys, real quick. I want to know the pros and cons of a BBL. Am I planning on getting a BBL? No. I just want to know the pros and cons of the BBL because I see a lot of it. And I know it got to be some pros and cons to it. I know, I know it got to be, hey, y'all don't pay me no mind. I am getting my car detail for the second time this week. Um, because they didn't do it right the first time and they told me to come back and get it done correctly but anyway so if y'all hear a lot of noise in the cars and all that that's why but I really want to know the pros and the cons of the BBL because you always see them on the video like I said no I'm not planning on getting nothing um, no BBLs or nothing but you always see them on the video but I know it gotta be some pros and cons like what made you get them or what made you get it these are questions I want to know and just out of curiosity not picking not not picking not whatever I'm just curious what made you get it um, what has changed uh, do you wish you wouldn't have got it would you do it again what's the upkeep of it like I got questions I got questions. And it probably ain't my business, but I just want to know, and I think it'll help a lot of people. I think it'll help a lot of women who are planning on getting it. Um, I don't even care if you hashtag, hashtag, yeah, hashtag BBL pros and cons. Because I, I really want to know. I'm curious. Did it change your lifestyle? Were, were you um, insecure with with your body and it, and it don't always have to be an insecure or security thing it's just that did you did you not like the way you look and now that you have it do you like the way you look are you okay with the scars were you overweight and that's what made you get it um did you have a baby like it's just questions i just got questions like like where what is the what is the upside after you got it what is the downside after you got it um, did it change your mental? Did it change your love life? Did it change? What did it change? I just want to know. And I think a lot of women who struggle with insecurities, like I did for a long time, like I was really skinny for years, and um, I took some stuff to increase my appetite, which increased my weight for years. I did. I, I just whatever they told me would take would increase my weight. I took. Um, I started with a pill that they got in Miami called a booty pill. That's what it was called, but the real pill name is periactin. So I took periactin for a long time. I kept fluctuating in weight because I didn't want to take a pill every day. So I go up. And then after I, you know, got to the weight that I desired, then I would get off the pill. And then um, when I couldn't get the periac anymore, um, my cousin had uh, a, a liquid thing called Megase. So I took the Megase, and the Megase really put weight on you because it makes you eat and not just no regular stuff. You eat like the real deal. Um, beans and cornbread and stuff like that but one day I went to my doctor and my doctor said hey you gain weight you look nice I said yeah because I'm taking Megase and she bugged out and she said they only give Megase to um, terminally ill people or either elderly because they didn't do the long-term studies on it so that I had to stop taking she she insisted that I stop taking it so I went back on um, periactin and the periactin um, boosted me back up so then I got to the point mentally like okay I really don't want to take a pill every day so I stopped and I got I dropped the weight again and I was okay with the weight drop I was down to like 125 I'm 5'8 so y'all know that's too skinny but like I said I didn't want to take the weight pill you know? so then I decided um, I, I went and had some female issues and my doctor put me on a on a pill called Remeron. 
in the Remeron helped me gain weight. But that ain't why he gave me the Remeron. He gave me the Remeron because when I had the female issues, it um, threw off my hormone balance, caused a depression, put me on the Remeron, and told me I could just stay on it until my hormones or to whatever, to my levels get together. I was like depressed all the time. So I got on this Remeron, and the Remeron really put some weight on me. I went from like 125 pounds to 165 pounds. And I liked it, and actually, mentally, I didn't even see myself to be bigger. I would still try on two small clothes, like, cause I thought, you know, I would start with small, when you know, go in the dressing room and do a large now, but mentally, my body, my, my eyes didn't see a large because I was so used to being skinny and I had to hang up. So I wanted to keep going and wait, but I got scared because I'm like, okay, I'm 165 now. If I keep going, I don't know if I'm going to be able to control the weight and I don't want to be fat. So I stopped taking the Remeron, but once I stopped taking it, of course, my weight dropped. So um, anyway, I went to the doctor. The doctor said, well, take it as needed. And Remeron, you don't really supposed to take it like as needed, but I took it as needed to increase my appetite. So everybody got their own weight issues, weight stories, body um, body situations where you're not satisfied with something going on in your body. So I just want to know, did it change? When I gained weight, yes, it did change my, 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 what I viewed in the mirror. I was more comfortable and satisfied with the way my body looked because I gained the weight. So I just want to know the pros and the cons of, of the BBM. Like I said, no, I don't want it. I don't want to get it. I'm satisfied with what I look like. But if I had to get pros and cons of the fluctuating weight, uh, the, the pros of the weight is I like the way I look. I am satisfied with where the weight went. Um, the cons of it, I can tell you I took what they call the booty pill from Miami, but if your weight does not distribute in the right places, it's not gonna go in the right places. Um, I didn't like the mood swings that the periactin sent me through because it was it was changing a, something in there. So when I first started taking it, it would make me very aggravated and moody and I would sleep a lot. It would give you this, um, this drowsy feeling, not really a high feeling, but you would sleep for a couple of days and then you just want to eat. But that's what it did to me. Um, I didn't want to take a pill every day. So the main thing is like the doctor told me the side effects I didn't know. It didn't do anything to me. I didn't feel any different. I just drank the Megase and ate. That's it. But if I don't know the long-term effects of it, then that's what scared me. So if you take a Megase and there's nothing wrong with you, it was so funny because I told the doctor, she was like, well, how are you gaining weight? Because I told her, I said, yeah, I'm taking something to gain weight. So I said, my friend gave me some Megase. And she was like, well, if she gave you Megase, she's not your friend. I'm like, what? She said, because we haven't done a long term term study on it and there may be something wrong with her so I knew she had HIV but it helped her gain weight so it was going to help me gain weight so I said well really she didn't she didn't give it to me she sold it to me I had to pay for it so I paid like 30 bucks for it but it was like a, a big bottle it, it kind of give you the um, feeling of milk a mag when you take it like ugh, it was nasty but for whatever reason the fluctuation of weight, it didn't do my knees no good because I was going up and down and my body wasn't used to the weight that I was putting on. Um, my feet grew a half a size. Um, so it, it threw my, it, the, the increase in weight so fast, I think took a toll on my knees. I think, I, I'm not too sure it might just be old age on its own, but but overall, am I satisfied with my look? Yes. Did I have to do things to manipulate my weight? Yes. So I'm just asking. Y'all tell me what y'all think or what y'all know. Hashtag pros and cons of BBL.
pros and cons of weight gain and I don't know, whatever y'all want to, I just want to go back and look, hashtag Nora Potts, and then I'll go back and look at the video. I just want to see, well, y'all got a hashtag, but I just want to know.